In the previous video, we looked at the histology or the slides of various epithelial tissue. We learned how to identify them using tricks and tips. In this video as well, we are going to look at the various slides of connective tissue and learn how to identify them under a microscope. So in the beginning of the video, you are going to get a basic introduction, which you can skip. And then I'll have the slides prepared for you, obviously in the form of a photo, not your actual slides. All right. So the connective tissue, it's a, it's divided into two types. You have connective tissue proper, which contains all the basic elements of connective tissue. And those are your cells, fibers, and matrix. And then there's your specialized connective tissue where some sort of modification occurs in these elements. Under connective tissue proper, depending on how the cells and fibers are arranged on the matrix, it's of two types, loose connective tissue, where cells and fibers are loosely arranged on the matrix, and dense connective tissue, where the fibers are compactly arranged with cells in between them. Under loose connective tissue, you have areolar connective tissue, which contains fibroblasts, plasma cells, and macrophages, mast cells, as the cells of the connective tissue, and it is found under your skin. Adipose connective tissue contains adipocytes as the cells. What are adipocytes? Adipocytes are fat storing cells. Depending on the type of adipocyte, adipose connective tissue is of two types. If the adipocyte contains a single large fat globule, which pushes the nucleus and the cytoplasm to the periphery, that's your white adipose connective tissue. But if the adipocyte, it contains multiple fat droplets, then that's your brown adipose tissue. Okay. If the fibers are compactly arranged with cells in between them, then that's your dense connective tissue. Depending on how the fibers are arranged, it is of two types. If the fibers are arranged in regular fashion, that is in a particular direction, then that's your dense regular connective tissue. But then if the fibers are randomly arranged, randomly arranged with no regular fashion, then that's your dense irregular connective tissue. Under dense regular connective tissue, depending on the type of fiber, it's, it's of two types. If the fibers present, are unbranched and found in bundles with cells in between them. Then that's your white fibrous connective tissue because it contains white fibers or collagen fibers. But if the fibers are branched and under a microscope, they are present in the form of pasta, highly coiled, wriggly, wriggly, then that's your yellow fibrous connective tissue. Then there's your dense irregular connective tissue where the, uh, where the arrangement of fibers are highly irregular. Specialized connective tissue. Under this, you have to only look at two specialized connective tissue under the microscope. There's your cartilage. Cartilage contains chondrocytes or cartilage cells inside a fluid-filled space called lacuna. Depending on the matrix of the cartilage, it's of three types. You have hyaline cartilage, where the chondrocytes are present in lacuna. However, multiple chondrocytes can be found inside lacuna. And this is what you call a nest. So you can find nest in hyaline. The nest lie on a matrix and this matrix is clear, clear. Then there's fibrocartilage. In fibrocartilage, there is high deposition of white fibers, high deposition of collagen fibers. And the chondrocytes are present in the form of stricks, in the form of stricks like beads, 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 beads bits so that's a fibrocartilage then elastic cartilage it is similar to hyaline cartilage you will find chondrocytes mostly singly inside lacuna and the matrix on which they lie is opaque it is not clear okay then you have bone bone depending on the structure it's of two types you have compact and spongy compact bone contains laminated structures laminated structures inside which chondrocytes are present and this is what you call haversian system have sorry this is what you call haversian system or osteon in spongy bone you can find branches and these branches are what we call trabeculae so using all these information now you can easily identify all the histological slides of connective tissue let's look at them so under connective tissue, you have connective tissue proper and specialized connective tissue. Under connective tissue proper, you have your 
लूज कनेक्टिव टिश्यू एंड डेंस कनेक्टिव टिश्यू अंडर लूज कनेक्टिव टिश्यू देर शर एरियोलर कनेक्टिव टिश्यू दिस राइट हेयर इज एरियोलर कनेक्टिव टिश्यू कॉज दीज आर द न्यूक्लियस ऑफ द सेल्स दीज आर योर फाइवर्स एंड यू कैन सी दैट द सेल्स एंड फाइवर्स दे आर लूजली अरेन्ज ऑन ए व्हाइट ऑलमोस्ट व्हाइट इज मैट्रिक्स सो दिस इज एरियोलर कनेक्टिव टिश्यू देन नेक्स्ट इज योर एडिपोज कनेक्टिव टिश्यू adipose connective tissue it contains fat storing cells called adipocytes depending on the type of fat storing cell you have number 1 white adipose tissue where the fat storing cell contains a large fat globule that pushes the nucleus and cytoplasm to the side large fat globule large fat globule you can find large fat globule large fat globule but if adipocyte contains multiple it contains multiple fat droplets so these are individual fat droplets which are present inside the same cell so in case of white adipose connective tissue inside a single cell you will find a large fat globule however in brown adipose connective tissue inside the same cell you can find multiple fat droplets so brown adipose connective tissue under a microscope is much more crowded you can find a lot of nucleus well this is less crowded and contains more space more space looking structures which are your fat globules okay with that we are done with loose connective tissue now let's look at dense connective tissue under dense connective tissue we have dense regular and dense irregular under dense regular we have white fibrous connective tissue so what you see here are fibers that are arranged in bundles and they are not branched they are arranged in a regular fashion and they are compactly arranged since they are compactly arranged they are dense connective tissue it's a dense connective tissue since they are the compactness the compactly arranged fibers are present in a regular fashion in a particular direction that's your dense regular connective tissue since the fibers that are present are your white fibers or collagen fibers that's your white fibrous dense regular connective tissue okay so i, I said that you will find these densely arranged fibers and in between these densely arranged fibers you can see these dots right these are the nucleus of fibroblast so here's your fibroblast here's your fibroblast here's your fibroblast these fibroblast or fiber making cells are sandwiched in between these bundles of fibers bundles of collagen fibers so one last time what is this this is your white fibrous connective tissue it contains white fibers arranged in bundles and in between these bundles you can find these dots right they are the nucleus of fibroblast these fibroblast they are sandwiched between they are sandwiched between the white fibers arranged densely so we saw the white fibers now elastin fibers as i said earlier elastin fibers are present in the form of your pasta noodles highly uh, wriggly they are highly wriggly so they are densely arranged again they are densely arranged and they are arranged in a regular fashion so this is your elast yellow fibrous or elastin fibrous dense regular connective tissue next we have reticular fibers in reticular fibers reticular fi fibers which are made up of reticulin protein by the way r e t i c u l i n reticulin protein these reticular fibers they are arranged in irregular patterns in regular pattern or they are reticulated it comes from the word reticulated itself so they are highly branched highly branched and irregularly irregularly arranged so that's your reticular fiber up next so we have dense irregular connective tissue this right here is a skin and this is the dermis of the skin which contains fibers if you look at the arrangement of the fibers it is highly irregular some fibers are arranged like this some fibers are like this now let's look at specialized connective tissue under specialized connective tissue there are two things that you need to see first is your cartilage 
which type of cartilage is this let's identify so first look at the chondrocytes so these are your chondrocytes which are present inside fluid filled space called lacuna however you can see that few of these fluid filled space called lacuna contains multiple of these chondrocytes and this is what you call a nest so as i said earlier if nests are present that means it's hyaline cartilage plus you can see that the matrix on which it is present is very clear so matrix clear and presence of nest so this is hyaline cartilage okay up next i said earlier in fibrous cartilage there is large deposition of white fibrous connective tissue so what you see here are white fibrous connective tissue and on these white fibrous connective tissue you can see these dots right these dots they are arranged in a streak like pattern these dots they are arranged in a streak like pattern these are nothing but your chondrocytes streak like pattern streak like pattern in a line in a particular line so this is your this is your fibrous cartilage up next elastin cartilage elastin cartilage first thing you will find chondrocytes which are present inside fluid filled space called lacuna these chondrocytes they are arranged mostly singly there are no nest so nest they are not present second thing the matrix that you see is not clear due to the deposition of yellow fibers let me show you even better slides here so first you have your hyaline cartilage where's the hyaline cartilage here's the hyaline cartilage so here you can see there are multiple chondrocytes that are present inside there are multiple chondrocytes that are present inside the same lacuna forming nest and the matrix on which they lie is clear second you can see there is high deposition of fibers which fibers white fibers and on these white fibers lie chondrocytes in a streak like pattern that is in a series in a series in a series so this is what fibrous connect cartilage fibrous cartilage similarly here's another cartilage where you will find chondrocytes inside lacuna present individually and the matrix on which they lie is opaque Due to, the due to the deposition of yellow fibers yellow fibers so this is your elastic cartilage okay so we are done with the three types of cartilage what are they hyaline cartilage where chondrocytes are present in nests and the matrix on which they lie is clear fibrous cartilage where there is high deposition of white fibers on which chondrocytes they lie in a chain or a streak and elastic cartilage where chondrocytes are present in lacuna and they are present mostly individually and the matrix on which they lie is opaque due to the deposition of yellow fibers okay now finally we have bone b o n e bone so in this particular histology this right here is the bone marrow which contains adipocytes and this is the bone this is the bone this is your compact bone however you can't see something called haversian system where there is concentric lamella present the reason being this bone is a decalcified since it is decalcified there is no lamellar deposition of calcium that is why it appears smooth or plain but you need to remember this is your decalcified bone then there's another this structure that you see right here is your trabeculi or the branch of spongy bone since you can see the trabeculi this is obviously your spongy or trabecular bone inside you can also see these chondrocytes that are arranged in lamella so the these chondrocytes they are arranged in lamella let me show you few other histological diagram okay wait let me show you some other slides mm, you can see here as well this is also your compact bone However, you can't see Haversian system because it is decalcified. This is your compact bone. Here's your bone marrow and the compact bone is decalcified. However, this right here is your compact bone where you can see the concentric arrangement of chondrocytes in concentric lamella. 
forming osteon or haversian system this is your compact bone which is not a decalcified here's your trabeculae trabeculae is present in trabecular bone so this is your trabecular bone with arrangement of osteocytes inside them this you see right here is your red bone marrow so there are two types of bones that you need to know number one is compact bone which might either be calcified or not, uh, which might either be calcified or decalcified if it is calcified you can find haversian system if it is decalcified you will not be able to find haversian system and then there's your woven bone or trabecular bone which contains trabecular trabeculae like these